Jesus said, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John 16, 33. Sometimes that trouble comes from pain, heartaches, disappointments, and emotional traumas caused by others. Sometimes we bring it on ourselves. Most of the time we can overcome the minor to moderate problems. We go to God for help. He raises up people to come alongside us to help us deal with and heal from our pain. God uses your family, friends, pastors, and various ministries to help you through your dark periods. There are times when we get stuck and we just can't shake the fears, anxieties, depression, and emotional issues. These lingering problems require serious prayer. Sometimes God uses Christian counseling. I'm Steve Rossi, a Christian counselor. Welcome to my video, What is Christian Counseling? These short videos are designed for the Christian community. I pray that you are encouraged and blessed by them. I pray that you live victoriously in Christ. My website is www.thechristiancounselor.com What is Christian Counseling? How does it work? What is a Christian Counselor? And how do you choose one? The primary goal of Christian Counseling is to promote emotional and spiritual healing in individuals, marriages, and families using a Christ-centered approach. Christian Counseling draws people to Christ and encourages them to experience His saving grace, mercy, love, and healing power. The real healing comes from Christ. The Christian counselor relies on Christ and the Holy Spirit to guide him in helping people work through their pain and resolve their problems. He or she believes that solutions to emotional pain and suffering come from Christ and not from within the individual. The therapy process leads clients to Christ, not to themselves in working through their issues. This is the opposite of secular humanist psychotherapy, which focuses on building up the self, having the person go within and develop that inner strength to heal rather than relying on God. The Bible is used and referred to in Christian counseling. God's word is essential to the therapy process. Prayer is also used in Christian counseling. The Christian counselor prays for his clients in the sessions. There are different styles and approaches in Christian counseling with various techniques, but they all depend on the Holy Spirit to guide them and heal individuals. The counselor helps his or her clients verbalize their feelings, review past hurts, gain understanding about what happened and happens, process their pain, develop effective coping skills, and heal. This is always done within a biblical framework, which means using the word, promises, and power of God in Christ Jesus. Psychological theories, training, and experience are useful, but are not the primary tools in Christian counseling. Pastoral counseling is very similar in taking the biblical approach to healing, but the training of the pastoral counselor, usually clergy, is somewhat different than the professional Christian counselor. While both are grounded in solid theology, biblical teaching, the professional counselor may have more detailed training in diagnosis and treatment of a range of mental health issues. The pastoral counselor tends to be trained in Bible teaching and supportive counseling approaches and less on the clinical side. God uses both types of counseling to help people. They differ in training but have the same goal of promoting healing and wholeness through Christ. How does Christian counseling work? Dynamics, goals, and plans. It's a God-driven process, and I talked a little about this earlier. Basically, people come in presenting a variety of problems like marriage crisis, conflicts, children and adolescents with academic or behavioral problems, etc. Some clients come with anxiety, depression, and stress-related problems. Sometimes they struggle with their relationship to God. The Christian counselor helps his client identify and understand the problem, establish a plan of action in working through the emotional pain, and then begin the healing process, taking steps to overcome the issues that keep them from living victoriously in Christ. The focus is always on Christ in terms of healing, while the client is encouraged to draw closer to the Lord. 
There are ups and downs, and the process is usually mixed with pain and joy that comes from examining and letting go of the pain and past. Freedom in Christ results from trusting Him and letting go. Forgiveness moves a troubled person forward as they move through this process. A point is reached where the client and the Christian counselor mutually agree to wind down and terminate the counseling. Who goes to Christian counselors? Almost always Christians, people of the faith looking for help from a biblical perspective. They expect Christian values on life, death, sexuality, marriage, and parenting. Most of them are very committed Christians, unwavering, dedicated, and deeply rooted in their faith. They love the Lord Jesus. Some are not as active in their church as others, spend less time in prayer and less quiet time with the Lord. They come at various levels and stages of their Christian walk. What is a Christian counselor? They're supposed to be very committed Christians and competent professionals. They are not only Christians doing counseling, but Christian counselors with experience using solid, biblically-based strategies that help people. They are guided by the Holy Spirit in helping their clients. They rely on God, not just their training and experience, and do not embrace secular humanism. The Christian counselor is not the Holy Spirit. They rely on the Holy Spirit. Choosing a Christian counselor. Pray. Pray first that God would lead you to the Christian counselor that's right for you, one who is passionate about his relationship with Christ and uncompromising in his Christian values, one who is qualified and competent to help you resolve your issues with the Lord's guidance. Go to your pastor or trusted friend for the name of a Christian counselor whom they've worked with before or have heard good, that he is good, one that they are very satisfied with one that they trust. You may also consider contacting Focus on the Family or the American Association for Christian Counselors for a referral. Additional things to look for and ask. Credentials. Where did they go to school and what were they taught and how do they apply that to Christian counseling? Some have theological training with practicums, others have secular degrees but have received additional training and completely embrace and utilize Christian counseling techniques. Both can be very effective in helping you. Experience. The more the better, especially in the area of problems you are dealing with. Expertise areas. The same as experience. Do they specialize in helping people with your type of issues? Materials written by them. What have they written that demonstrates their beliefs and reflects their competence? Statement of beliefs. Are they solid in their core Christian beliefs about the virgin birth, resurrection, the devil, heaven, and hell, etc.? Feel free to ask them anything you want to go in order to clarify their background and approach to Christian counseling. You want someone grounded in Christ, His Word, a living, walking proof spirit-filled. You do your part, God does his part, and the Christian counselor does his or her part. God directs them all. Father, we thank you that we can come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names. We live in a fallen world. We have that sin nature, but also your power to resist sinning. Sometimes, Others cause us tremendous emotional stress and turmoil. We come to you for help and healing. You are our only hope. Please heal us. I pray that God heals you. Sometimes God heals you through the help of others, friends, pastors, and even Christian counselors. They're just vessels for God in his service, for your service. I pray that if God is leading you in that direction, that he brings the right Christian counselor to you to help you understand and resolve the issues that prevent you from living a victorious life. I pray that this strong woman or man of God, counselor, blesses you to let God heal you and bless others. Thank you, Father, that you have heard my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.